What is your excuse? We all have one. Is it the lack of time, lack of resources? What is it? We all have one. Upon us are the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Now, we all know what we have to do. We are all going to receive the WhatsApp messages and the Instagram posts and the Facebook lectures and the YouTube videos. We have information. We have the theory every year. We're in the same place and we're being reminded. Jazakumullah khair. The mashayikh are doing their work and their jobs, their responsibilities to share the knowledge. We have the knowledge. You have the knowledge. You know what you have to do. You have been here last year and the year before this. So why no change? Why do we let these last 10 nights go by just like that? In them is a night that is better than a thousand nights. Laylatul Qadri khayrun min al so why do we miss it? Why do we lose it? Why do we become losers? We have the arrows, the Quran, the Sunnah, but we miss the target. We miss the target. We need practice. That is it. I tell you what the problem is. The problem is we don't have discipline. Islam equals discipline. The prayer, the fasting. We know it's a system, a way of life. A disciplined way of life. But the problem is that most of us lack that discipline. We don't have it. And hence, every year, just remember last year, you were at the same moment, at the same junction. Should I? Should I not? Should I stay up a bit more? Should I not? Should I read a little bit more? Should I not? And then that little voice in your mind tells you what? I'm tired. Next year, tomorrow, maybe in an hour. I don't know. What does it tell you? Why are you in the same position every single year? And then the Ummah doesn't change. And Allah says that He does not change the condition of a people unless they change themselves. Are you not tired? Are you not tired? Had you not had enough of everyone pushing us down, of people stomping on us? Are you not ready to make a change? To move from theory to practice, not this year. But we have a fundamental problem. We approach Ramadan and the last 10 nights as the ending of something. And this is where we fail. This is where we fail. We're waiting for it to finish. And on Eid, we collapse. We crash. We make it up for what we lost. The food, the sleep. Because we look at the last 10 nights and Ramadan is itself just, it begins and it will end. And Alhamdulillah, and next year we go again. And same position, same place. Because we have no discipline. We have no desire and hunger for action, for changing our condition. One of the scholars said that the racehorse pushes hard on the last 100 meters. But you see guys, the racehorse doesn't collapse once it crosses the finish line. It takes its victory lap. And it's ready for more races. We collapse. We collapse. So I ask you again, what is your excuse? Are you not tired? This Ummah needs you. It needs a new you. Make this Ramadan, these last 10 nights, as the beginning for next year. It's the beginning. This Ramadan was a training camp for you. So you can work for the next year to bring benefit to this ummah, to change the condition of the Muslims. You have it in you, you have something, you have greatness in you. Remember Allah is destined you to be His representative on this earth. It means He's destined you for greatness. Are you gonna take it? Are you gonna man up? Are you gonna woman up to this? To your promise, the amana that you have taken upon yourself. Islam is not just about praying and fasting. It's not just about you. It is about a greater thing. It is about representing Allah. It is about the ummah. It is about bringing justice and light to this world. But where is your part in this? You can't do it. Why? The excuses? Why? The whispers in your mind? The thoughts that tell you that you can't do it? You know, if there's no enemy within and the enemy outside can do you no harm. The problem is the first person that stands in your way to greatness in this dunya and therefore in the after, hereafter, inshallah. The first person is none other than yourself, your own nafs telling you that you can't do it. And other people telling you, you can't do it. You're a dreamer. No, tune it off. 
Turn it off. No, you don't listen to that. You need to shape your own opinion of yourself. You don't listen to what other people say about you negatively. You care only about what your Lord thinks about you. Brothers and sisters, we need to be motivated. We need to push. We need to push. The question is, when? When are you going to do it? When are you going to stand up and claim it? Because it's yours. Got to take it. There are two types of people in this world. The analogy of the lion and the gazelle. Every morning in the savannah, in the safari, a lion wakes up and a gazelle wakes up. Every morning, the lion chases something. It goes after what it wants. And the gazelle runs away from something. The lion chases it. It wants it. The gazelle runs away. It wants safety, it wants security, it wants to relax, it wants to eat, to move around. Both of them are running. Both of them want to have a life. Both of them. The difference is one is running towards something, one is running away from something. One is chasing, one is being chased. The ones that chasing the lion, it knows what it wants. It's determined. Doesn't need anyone to push them. They know what they want. That's one type of people. The other one, the gazelle, needs to be chased, needs to be pushed. And when the chase and the push stops, what happens when the lion doesn't chase it anymore? It just stops and it starts eating. It starts moving around, relaxing. You need to make a choice. Which one are you? Are you the one that's hungry and chasing and wants to do something and make a change? Or are you the one that needs to be pushed and chased all the time? And when the push and the chase and the pressure stops, you relax. And you're looking for that safety, you're looking for that just month to month paycheck, just that year to year, same thing, but never making a very hungry decision, a determined decision for the sake of Allah, of course, with sincerity, but you have to be hungry the same way Khalid ibn Walid was hungry, the same way Abdullah ibn Zubair was hungry, the same way the Sahaba were. Where are we? Where are you? This is the question, this last 10 nights. Are you gonna make it as the end of Ramadan or are you gonna make it as the beginning of a new year, a new you? The choice is yours.